our latest show. Roll it. <laughs> hey, DHS. Welcome to War Horse World News. ¿Qué tal, DHS? Bienvenidos a las noticias. To start off, we'll be talking about the tragic passing of the Queen and some natural disasters. Para empezar, estaremos hablando sobre la muerte de la Reina Isabel y algunos desastres que hemos tenido en los últimos días. And off to a better note, we'll be talking about a kid finding a worm, some seals, and the ozone. Además, estaremos hablando sobre un niño que encontró una serpiente, la capa de ozono, y algunos otros temas. We have good news, DHS. Scientists estimate that the hole in the ozone layer could close in 50 years. Welcome to DHS News. Two earthquakes have struck Mexico, killing five in total over the past week. One with a 7.6 magnitude and the other with a 6.8. In other news, Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic are still left with no water or running electricity as Hurricane Fiona hit them, causing flash flooding, draining mudslides, and leaving the entire U.S. territory without power. The Phantom of the Opera has come to an ending after holding the world's longest show. After a good 35 years, they have finally called it the end. On a lighter note, Antarctic researchers have been counting the Weddell seal population from space using satellites and 300,000 citizen scientists. Y ahora, las noticias locales. Make sure to get your yearbooks. They're on sale for $50. SCCLA is going on their fall leadership this Wednesday in San Antonio. The bonfire this year for homecoming is October 5th. Make sure to put it down in your calendar. Our flights have been migrating to South Texas due to North Texas climate change. That's why we've been flying around town. Welcome back to DHS Dancing. These are the best dancers in the vine. So who do you think is going to win the hallway decorations here? Uh, my vote is for the seniors. Oh, come on. Well, I hate to say that, but they've been around for a long time. They're very enthusiastic. They have a lot of energy. They have that win-win attitude. <laughs> so they don't they don't give up. Uh, the the other classmen are kind of nervous. They there haven't got into it quite yet. So the seniors have the edge. You know what? I have a lot of uh, anime buffs in the junior class that are really, really artistic. I look forward to seeing how everyone decorates their doors. Um, the freshman. Freshman? Yes. All right, thank you. I think the juniors because I'm a junior, and that's what I believe strongly. I strongly believe we're going to win. We have some very artistic people. Uh, I think uh, sen uh, seniors are going to win. They are, they are mainly just they're very talented in what they do. They, uh, they got a strong spirit, and I think they can do well to make us proud. Hey, Devine, this is your DHS Broadcast Journalism. I'm Andrea. I'm Brandon Martinez. I'm David Reeves. I'm Michaela Brighton. I'm Logan Camarillo. And we'll be asking random people random questions. If a plane crashes between the U.S. and Canada, where would you bury the survivors? It depends on what citizenship they uh they follow, whether they're United States citizens or Canadian citizens. Actually, it doesn't matter where it crashes. They go back to the country they came from. How old is our solar system? No, I don't know. <laughs> uh, like, it's five question. Five billion years old. Thank you. If you're in a race and you pass the person in second place, what place are you in? Third? <laughs> How many bones are in the human body? 100. 150? <laughs> How many Earths can fit in a sun? 230. What day did America get its independence? Um, 1974. Oh. What is the first United States weather called? Oh, weatherman. Which planet is closest to the sun? I actually have no clue. <laughs> what percent of Africa is ice free? 89%. I'm passing the phone to someone who is always fun to record with. I'm passing the phone who is so 
phone. I'm passing the phone to someone who likes to read and she's so smart. I'm passing the phone to someone who contributes a lot to class ideas. I am passing the phone to the person with the best smile. I'm passing the phone to someone that I think should have kept his mullet. I'm passing the phone to the shortest person in class. I'm passing the phone to the cutest guy in the room. Hey, VHS, you got the chance to interview some of our seniors for this week's Senior Spotlight. What's up, VHS? I'm Mary Mares, and I'm chosen for the Senior Spotlight. All right, so what are you involved in? Uh, football, and that's it. Okay, so what's your nickname? Uh, Nate. So what's your favorite exotic animal? Sabertooth tiger. And what color do you find yourself wearing the most? Probably black. Goes with everything. I agree. What's up, DHS? <laughs> I'm Enrique, and I've been chosen for Senior Spotlight. Well, what sports are you involved in? Right now, just cr cross country. I'm waiting till next season. Not next season, but next year, so I can do a uh, track. And what's your nickname? Nickname? Just call me Muffin. And if you could change your name, what would it be? Probably Kyrie or like. <laughs> What's something that's true that nobody else believes in? What? Um, what? <laughs> Come on, something that's true that nobody else believes in. Um, aliens are real because, like, when I was little, I saw I saw one like a UFO. See my grandpa, he never came back. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen him since. And what's a movie that made you cry? Have to say like SpongeBob the Last Christmas. On, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm on the weekends, I'd be hanging out. With him. Hey DHS, I'm Angelina and I've been chosen for the Senior Spotlight. What are you involved in? I'm involved in softball and cheer. Do you have any nicknames? They call me Angie. <laughs> if you had a chance to steal, what would it be? Queen Elizabeth's crown. <laughs> Is a hot dog a sandwich? No, it's not. <laughs> hey DHS, my name is Caitlin and I've been chosen for Senior Spotlight. What are some things you're involved in? Um, I play volleyball and I'm a cheerleader. And what is your nickname? Katie. Um, what is the last movie that made you cry? The Good Dinosaur. <laughs> and would you rather be early or late to an occasion? Um, late. What's up, VHS? This week we're going to be going over the past weekend's college football games. Let's check it out. This past weekend, September 24th, A&M played Arkansas. A&M was down the first quarter 13-0, but they came back and won the game 23-21. Last Saturday, September 24th, UT and Texas Tech played at the Jones AT&T Stadium. UT was able to score a majority of their points in the first half, but unfortunately, Tech was able to beat them in the second half with an end score of 34 to 37. Hello, I'm with Miss Conger. Um, Mississippi and A&M are gonna play this weekend. What do you think the game score's gonna be and who do you think's gonna win? Obviously, since I'm a true blue Aggie, I think A&M's gonna win. It's gonna be a tough game, but I'm gonna predict that A&M will win 30 to three. Okay, thank you. Great. A&M is playing Mississippi State this weekend. Who do you think is going to win? Mississippi State. And what do you think the score will be? 40 to 24. Who do you think is going to win? A&M or Mississippi? A&M. Why? Because. Why? Because, period. I can answer. Who do you think is going to win the game, Alabama or Arkansas? Alabama. Alabama. Who do you think is going to win, Arkansas or Alabama? I got Alabama 45 to 10. <clears throat> this was our college football recap and our predictions for this week's game. Brought to you by DHS Broadcast. I'm here with starting fullback and middle linebacker. Brian Martinez. And I'm asking him a few questions. How does the student section affect the game? They really get me pumped and energized. I like hearing them cheer. Uh, how do you feel about Friday's game and your ball this week? Uh, I'm excited. Ready to play. I think we'll take the dub. Be five and a half. And what are some key things your team needs to work on? Good team. Fix a few slip ups. That's all. Aaron Bardia, tight end DM. I'm asking him a couple questions. How does the student section affect your game? I mean, it uh, keeps me hyped during the game. I mean, they're loud. I mean, yeah, they're really loud, crazy. So, yeah, they keep me hyped during the game. What are some key things your team needs to work on? Um, we need a. 
<laughs> That's a good one. I don't know. Okay, um, how do you feel about Friday's game in Nevada this week? Oh, it's going to be a good game. I mean, I don't know. It's going to be a good game. I'm here with Sam, and I'm asking him a few questions. How does the student section affect the game? Well, it really gets the whole team high before the game and during the game, so. Uh, how do you feel about Friday's game in Uvalde this week? Um, they're a good team. Yeah, they pass the ball a lot, which we're not used to, so it's going to be a good game. All right, what are some key things your team needs to work on? I think we need to work on our defense a little bit. I'm here with Corey and Cole. And I'll ask him a few questions. How does the student section affect your game? Uh, I feel like it gives the team more energy and, you know, it gives us better enthusiasm to beat the other team. I really don't see much for it because they really don't do anything. Uh, how do you feel about Friday's game in Uwagi this week? W all the way. It's about to be a pretty good game. I should come out with a W. And what are some key things your team needs to work on? A secondary, and they need to get there together. But other than that, we should be pretty good. I don't think there's anything we need to work on. So. I'm here with Aiden Spotters, Joseph Rojas. And what are some key things we need to keep in mind going into Uvalde? Uh, Uvalde is playing pretty hard this year because of what happened last year. Uh, we need to keep in mind that we need to be good sportsmen, but we need to get it, we need to get it done. I also think that we need to do what we need to do on offense and defense to secure the W and go 5-0. I'm here with Coach Gallegos, and I'm going to ask him a couple questions. How does the student section affect the game? I'm not sure I'm in the press box. What are some key things your team needs to work on? Key things the team needs to work on. Uh, practicing better throughout the week. How do you feel about Friday's game in your eyes? I feel good about it. Um, after watching film, I think we can do some things that they're not used to. We'll catch them off guard. So, I like our chances. What's up, DHS? This week we're going to be covering Arabian volleyball. Let's check it out. Great performance last night. How do you feel about heading into Somerset? Um, I'm really excited. I think the girls really stepped up last night, played the way that I knew they could. So I'm excited. I hope they take that same energy into the game on Friday night. Coming off of a big win yesterday, how do you feel about this Friday's game? We're pretty excited to play and get another district win. Come out and support. <laughs>
Last night was parents' night at the volleyball game. How did it feel having to know that your daughter was a senior and this was her last year? Well, I've, I've been fortunate enough to you know, be a part of parents' night for four years. Um, it's all kind of surreal that she's a senior. Um, not really ready for that, but um, it's kind of cool seeing your kid out there as a senior finally. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's pretty sobering, actually. Um, it's pretty cool. How did you feel about last night's parents' night? I thought it went very, very well. It was very special to me. It is my daughter's senior year. Um, so uh, being our last parent night was pretty hard, but it was very, very nice. This Friday, the Arabians play Somerset at five o'clock. Come out and support. Okay, this is our SpongeBob chant for the kids off. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Justin. I can't hear you. Aye. And it's when they're about to make a touchdown. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, hey, hey, turn up. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, hey, hey, turn up. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, hey, hey, turn up. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, hey, hey, turn up. <laughs> this is our roller coaster chant. Y'all ready to go for a ride? Strap in. Down chance. 